Hello, and welcome to CPD 7009, Using Simulation to Support Clinical Learning. In this first video, I'll give you an overview of our module studies, show you a calendar for mapping and monitoring your module studies, and show you how to use the left-hand side menu in our virtual learning environment Blackboard, which we'll use to deliver your studies to you. So, let's take a look, a brief overview at your module studies. To do that, I'm going to go into the essential reading area here on the left hand side to look at everything that's available to you. Please could we ask you to take the pre-module survey before your studies begin. This really helps us gain information about you and how we can help you better in the future. Thanks. So this module comprises 10 weeks of preparatory or refresher studies and five blocks of compulsory reading and some online discussions, which I'll tell you more about later, and two formal assessments. We'll also meet face-to-face -face on three or four occasions. If you couldn't join us for the March 25th induction face-to-face -face day, please don't worry, that's exactly why we've made these videos. So let's look at the calendar. I'm going to open the calendar for module studies using this link, and you'll notice that it opens in a new tab in the web browser. There it is. As I said, this module includes 10 weeks of preparatory or refresher studies, readings, discussions, and tasks. If you've studied with us before, you might find these useful. And if you haven't studied with us, Please have a go at these tasks as they'll help you get ready to use the virtual learning environment and to engage in the CPD 7009 studies when they get going in earnest from June 3rd. You can see that we'll meet again on June 3rd, June 1st, July 1st, sorry, and August 6th. The H here in the room booking title means our Faculty of Health building here on the Olmskirk campus. So each time we meet, we'll be in a different room, but in the Faculty of Health building. OK. Let's go back to Blackboard. To do that, I'm going to use the tabs in the web browser. Here in the essential reading space, by scrolling up and down, you can see the preparatory weeks and tasks. And then you'll see blocks of compulsory reading for your studies. When you open these readings, again, they open in a new tab in your web browser. For the first 10 weeks, there are some preparatory readings all about the underlying educational principles to teaching and learning in clinical practice. When we start our simulation studies with block one and two and three and four and five, again, you'll see that these readings are all PDFs which open in new tabs on a web browser. It may be worth noting that because they're PDFs, you can open them on almost any device. You can see that for the first two weeks, there are some tasks to undertake. Right now, you're doing the first one. You're watching this welcome and introduction video. So let me tell you a little bit more about your module studies and the virtual learning environment Blackboard. You'll navigate your way around Blackboard by using this left-hand side menu here. You can see as I pass my cursor over these titles that they're actually links to different areas within Blackboard. And in this video, I'm just going to show you the most frequently used and important ones that we use for you. We're in essential reading at the moment. So it stands to reason that if we go into the module assessment area, that you'll find all the information you need about module assessment. 
Please don't worry about this too much for now. We'll talk far more about this from June onwards. Any materials that we use when we meet face to face can be found here in the face to face day materials area. Each of those are links to different documents that we'll be using when we meet on campus. The next important link to know about is the discussion boards link. It takes you to a place full of fora for discussing online with everybody else who's enrolled in this module. You can see that the third task for these weeks one and two is to post in this forum here. There's a video about what you should post in this forum, so please watch that soon. The next important link to know about is the email tool. I'll tell you all about that in another video. So let's go back to the essential reading area. So we have a module calendar to help us monitor what we're doing. We have 10 weeks of preparatory or refresher readings and tasks. And then from June onwards, we'll start our module studies. These are the studies that will be assessed by the module assessments. So that's about all I have to tell you for the introduction and overview video, except for one final piece of housekeeping. And that is just a reminder that if you have accepted a funded place from Health Education Northwest, to please remember that the university has agreed to provide regular reports on your engagement and progress through your module studies. That includes things such as how often you've logged on, the readings that you've downloaded, and your participation in online discussions. Of course, if you have any troubles at all with any of the facets of this module, please use the email tool to email me and we will help you out as much as possible. So we hope you enjoy your studies. We will see you online and we will see you at the face-to-face -face workshops. Thanks. <laughs>